Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am continue with chapter 3 stack. Okay, so today topic we are going to discuss the notation and I told you there is a in six to post with conversion algorithm. Okay, so first one I will start with what is the meaning of notation. It refers to the way mathematical or logical expression or return to represent operations and value clearly. For example, when you are creating any uh, no expression like a plus b into c. So what you will be doing here, the normal mathematical expression, you will be following the board mass rule to apply it. So the way you are you know, writing the mathematical or logical expression, how are we going to represent operation and values clearly? So that you will be knowing which operation you have to do it first. And what is the value also you will get it. So it defines the order in which operators and operands appear in an expression. So basically this is nothing but how are we writing the operation by using the operand. So that whoever is solving the problem it is clearly understood which operation they have to do it first. Okay that's nothing but the notation. Next what are the notation in arithmetic expression. So in computer we are having three type of notations. The first one it is the infix notation. What is the meaning of infix notation? Here the way to write only everything how are we writing the expression that only differs okay. So infix notation if you are taking operators are written between the operands like in mathematical how you are writing the same way only example a plus b. So here the operand is coming in between of this op no operands okay the operators is coming in between of the operands and it follows what board mass rules okay next next one is a prefix notation or we can call it as a polish notation both are same meaning only prefix or polish notation so here the operators are written before the operands so you can see here the operands are here but you have mentioned the operators before that that when we can call it as a prefix notation clear and here we are not following any parenthesis and as the order of the operation and operands only determines the result. Clear now? What is the meaning of prefix notation? And next one is a postfix notation. And another name we can call it as a reverse polish notation. Here the operators are written after the operands. So here A, B after that only you will get the operators. Okay. So this one we are using it in the stack based evaluation like calculators and compilers. And each notation has its own advantages. If you are taking the infix, prefix and postfix, each one has its own advantages. But postfix notation only widely we are using in the computing. Because it eliminates the need for parenthesis and follow a simple left to right evaluation. So you are going to do the evaluation from left to right evaluation for the postfix. Is it clear now what is the meaning of infix? Prefix and postfix. Here you have to concentrate how you have to write the operand and operators. So before going to the algorithm, first I want to tell you what are the rules for converting infix to postfix. Okay. So infix will be what? Operators will be in the center like a mathematical expression you will get. Postfix means it will be a two oper operands will be there after that only operators will come. Okay. So you have to do the conversion. So these are the rules you have to remember. What is the first rule? It follow operator precedence from highest to lowest. Okay. If you have an expression. For example, if you have an expression, you have an exponent. Exponent, how can you mention? In the mathematical, we can mention like this or this one. Double, double, as you can call it as an exponent. After that, this is having the high, uh, no, priority. After that, the equal priority if you are taking it, the division and the multiplication is having the next priority level and both are having the equal priority. After that plus and minus both are having the same priority and it is the least priority. I hope everyone is clear. So exponent is the highest priority and division and multiplication is the next level. So this is the first priority. The second one is a division and multiplication but both are having the same priority next plus and minus both are having the same priority but it is having least priority the third one so you have to follow the order 
Next, no two operators of the same precedence should stay in the stack together. The first one should be popped out first. For example, this is a stack. What happened if the same priority? For example, already you have into. Again, the slash is coming. What you have to do? You have to pop out whichever it has come first. Understood? Next, a yeah, highest higher precedence operator cannot be placed before a lower precedence. This is very important. What is the meaning of higher precedence? So, this is a slash and uh, no multiplication. If the slash is there already, but again in the stack, if you are planning to put plus, it should not come. Clear now? Because already this has a highest priority. But if it comes the lowest priority, you have to remove, you have to pop out the highest priority. Understood? Next, if an operator is inside the parenthesis, pop all the operator inside until the left parenthesis is encountered and discard both parenthesis after processing. Very simple. For example, the left parenthesis and right parenthesis. If there is any operators are there inside, you have to take it out, this one out and you have to cancel both the parenthesis. Understood now all the four rules? The first rule is follow the priority. The second rule, if there is a two operators of the same precedence, should not stay together. So, which one has come first, that you have to pop out. And higher precedence should not be placed before the lower precedence. And if operator is the inside of both parenthesis, you have to pop out and remove both the right and left parenthesis. So, these are the rules you have to remember when you are converting the infix to postfix. Okay. Now, I am going to start evaluating the expression from infix to postfix. This is the conversion I am going to do it. So, if you are doing this problem, then it is easy for you to remember the algorithm. Okay. Already, we had discussed all the rules. Now, based on the rules only, we are going to solve the problem. First, I will explain you what is the meaning of scan. A scan is nothing but you are going to take each character, okay, each element or each expression and you are going to scan it. And in case, if you are scanning it, in case of any alphabet or numerical form comes, you are going to push directly to the postfix. It won't be there in the stack. But if there is any operators or break, uh, no, bracket if it comes, then it will be there in the stack. Clear everyone? So if you are taking the alphabet, directly no need to put it in the stack, directly it will go to the postfix. And each one you are going to scan it. Each word or each character you are going to scan. First what is that? A. So you are going to scan first A. And A is an alphabet. So stack nothing won't be there. Directly you are added to the postfix. What is the next one? It's a multiplication. So multiplication is an operator. It is, will be there in the stack. And postfix A will be continue. And what is the next one? This bracket. Left bracket. And left bracket also will be there in the stack. Okay. Then in postfix also it will continue. Next one again one more bracket. So one more bracket also is here. So again it will go to the stack only. So already one bracket is here. Another one bracket. Again A is continue here. What is the next one? C. C is a alphabet. So directly where it will go? It will go to the postfix. So C. Already A is there. So A and C. Next one is what? Plus. Plus is the operator. Where it will go? It will go to the stack. So into and here plus is there. Okay. Now where, where you have to do A and C. Next what is the next one? D. So D is the alphabet. Alphabet means directly it will go to postfix. Here it will continue the same. Two bracket and plus and here A. C and D. What is the next one? Closing bracket. Here only the important concept has come. Here multiplication symbol. One open bracket. Another open bracket. Inside plus is there. Again close bracket has come. So as we discussed in the rule. If two brackets close. Is there any operator? You have to pop out and go to the postfix. So I am popping out this. And remove this bracket. It will remove also. So what it will be doing? A. C and D. I am popping out what? Plus. And two bracket I am discarding it. Clear now bracket will not be there in the postfix. Okay. 
you are whenever opening and closing bracket comes in between if there is a operator you have to pop out to the post fix so as of now in the stack what is there multiplication and only one bracket clear what is the next one division symbol division symbol also will be there so multiplication symbol bracket is there then division symbol okay then here again it is continuing a c d and plus okay now what is the next one e e also is a alphabet so it will directly go to postfix bracket slash and here a c d plus and e okay now what is the next one is the closing bracket so closing bracket has come again so what you have to do multiplication opening bracket slash closing bracket has come so open and close has come in between any operator is there is there so you have to pop out and so here what it will happen and discard also discard opening and closing bracket so a c d plus e then which one you popped out slash clear now after that is there anything is there nothing is there so what you have to do whatever remaining are there you make it empty you have to pop out only the multiplications are there you make it the empty and pop out everything from the stack so the final result of this is a c d plus e slash and multiplication this is the answer for this question i hope everyone is clear okay fine now we will look into the algorithm so what is an algorithm here the first algorithm they are saying initialize an empty string post exp to store the postfix expression and an empty stack for the operators that is what we have done we have create the postfix to collect all the string variable and in stack also empty right that is what it has mentioned string post expression to store postfix expression and empty stack for the operators and read the infix expression in exp so we are reading reading is nothing but the scanning you are scanning expression one by one okay after that what is that for each character in expression repeat the following step what are the things you have to repeat it if the character is an operand a to z or 0 to 9 what you have to do you have to append to the post exp as i told you right if there is a a to z or any numerical character it won't be there in the stack directly you are going to push or append to the post expression if the character is left parenthesis again you have to push it to stack if the character is right parenthesis pop from the stack and append to post exp Ah uh, no, post expression until this is found, and you have to discard both the parentheses. So whenever you are getting right parentheses and left parentheses, you have to pop out from the stack, and you have to discard the parentheses. If there is a operator inside that, you have to pop out. That is what it has mentioned here. After that, what you have to do if the character is an operator plus minus or this is called exponent. while the stack is not empty and the top row operator has a higher or the equal precedence pop and append to the post expression that's what we have discussed the rule if the stack is not empty which means that if the stack is having any operator the top operator whatever the recent operator it if it is having the higher or equal precedence you have to pop out and go to the post expression you have to do it that type of problem we didn't solve anyway i'm going to solve that then what you have to do push the current operator onto the stack next one after processing all the characters pop all the remaining operator from the stack and up into the post exp so when we finished all the scanning if there is still any operators are there you are going to pop out everything and add it to the post fix that's what they have mentioning here then print the post expression as the post fix expression clear now it is easy for you to write the algorithm now whatever we have done you are going to do it in the algorithm okay okay i'll be taking the next example this will help you for understanding how the same priority or if it comes to higher priority what you are supposed to do 
So this is I evaluate the expression from infix to postfix. This is an expression. So the three column I have created here scan, stack and postfix. So first what I am scanning this bracket I am scanning it here. Okay the first one I am scanning this and whenever the bracket comes it will be there in the stack. And next one I am scanning P. So whenever alphabet comes directly it will go to postfix. So here it is continuing. After that plus so plus again it will go to the stack. So bracket and plus here P is continuing. Next one is the I am scanning Q. So Q directly it will go to postfix. So here it is continuing bracket plus. Again what is that close bracket. So close bracket when close bracket comes you have to check is there any operator inside opening and closing bracket. Yes there is a plus. So you have to pop plus and you have to remove this bracket. So PQ plus. Okay, and that nothing is there in the stack. And now again, what you are taking? Multiplication. So multiplication, it's starting new now. So PQ plus, again R directly it will go to the stack. Sorry, postfix. So here stack will be having a same multiplication. Again, PQ plus R. Again, what is the next one? Slash, which means division symbol. Division symbol I'm taking. Again, multiplication and division. So same priority. Whenever the same priority what you have to do. Whatever it has come first that you have to remove. Which means the multiplication already there. You have to remove that and put it in postfix. So PQ plus R. Then the multiplication symbol you have to mention. What is the next one? Yes. So yes here. And remaining what is there? The division symbol. That is continuing. The same in the uh, postfix. I have append with yes now. Okay. Again what is that one? Plus. So plus I am taking it. So slash already there. Then again you are putting plus. Now you have to pop the division symbol. Because division symbol is having higher priority. That should not be there before the lower priority. So you are going to pop this division symbol. Okay. So PQ plus R into S. Then you are popping out from the stack as division symbol. So in stack which one will be there? Only plus is available. After that, what is that T? So T means directly where it will go. It will go to the postfix. The next one is a slash here. So slash here, here plus and slash. Don't get confused. Here in the previous one, slash and plus. That is what you are popping out the higher priority. But higher priority is there in the before only. So no problem. Plus and slash is fine. But slash and plus only should not be there. Clear now? So you are not doing anything. It is continue with the same postfix. After that, what is that? U. So, U where it will go directly? It will go directly to the postfix. Clear? After that, nothing is there. So, now if nothing is there, first you have to pop out what? You have to pop out. I will show you. You have to pop out first a slash, then pop plus. So, your final result will be PQ plus R into S slash TU. First, you are pop out the recent element like slash after that you have to pop out plus that will be the last one i hope everyone is clear with this example so is this way you have to convert infix to postfix okay the next concept we are going to see how can you evaluate the postfix expression so last uh, no last example we had discussed how do we convert the infix to postfix but now we are going to evaluate Evaluate means there will be a numerical form will be there. How are we going to evaluate? First look into the algorithm. So here the first one. Input the postfix expression. That will be there in the post expression. Scan each character. Like last example also you have to scan each character in post expression. If operand comes. Operand here is a numerical value. Then you have to push it to the stack. If the operator comes what you have to do. You have to take two elements. Or two operands from the stack and you have to apply the operation and push, push the result back. After that scanning check the stack. If one element remains pop and print it has a result. If multiple elements remain means the expression is invalid.